Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I literally just woke up from like the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life in the longest time. Oh, I feel so like well rested and I just like, I feel so good. So anyway, good morning. I'm gonna vlog today. So just woke up. Honestly, the reason why I had such a good sleep is because I slept for almost 11 hours and Milo's not home right now. I just got home from New York last night. So he is at daycare until this afternoon. I'm gonna go pick him up a little bit later today. And it's nice because I have like the whole day to get stuff done and like not have to worry about him like being here because if you are like work from home and have a puppy and you'll understand like how much work it is during the day like he needs to go on multiple walks and he needs attention and all that stuff so i've been trying to find a balance with like sending him to daycare because he has so much fun there and he's able to like play with other dogs and he comes home and he's so tired and just like so happy and whenever i drop him off he like literally gets so excited right when i even pull into the place so it's been really nice and i like want him to have fun i don't want him to be like stuck in the apartment all day when i'm working i just feel like that's not fair to him so yeah anyway that's my update about that so i slept in because milo's at daycare and he didn't like wake me up at five o'clock this morning or six o'clock this morning to go out and go for a walk so i got to sleep i have clean sheets on my bed i literally was like thinking about myself before i left and i was like i'm gonna clean my sheets so i come home i have fresh sheets to sleep in it's gonna be so cozy and it was so that is my update <laughs> i'm gonna do meditation and do my journaling i really have to make sure i do it before i get out of bed because once i get out of bed it's been hard for me lately to sit back down and do it so gonna do that right now i will talk to you guys after the day um but just did skincare made a little coffee cleaned up the apartment a little bit i have to oh i have so much that i need to do this week fourth of july is coming i'm going to the cape with emma and we're gonna go like see family and stuff but i have so much coming i don't know if i i'll just tell you right now i'm moving and i talked about this like apartment in one of my last videos um and about how they like didn't want to allow dogs when there was like already a dog that lived there so i ended up calling and asking again and basically i got the apartment i'm so excited like i am literally so excited you guys have no idea i've been wanting this apartment for like months and i'm finally moving my lease here is up at the end of the summer and this apartment was available for July 1st. So I am gonna try to get like a sublease for my apartment. But this apartment, like when I saw it, I just knew that there was never gonna be anything like this ever. Like I look at apartments all the time. Like I'm constantly looking at Zillow. I've been looking for the longest time because I've known that I'm gonna be moving and I've never seen an apartment like this. Like I'll show you guys once I'm moving in, like I'll do obviously like an empty apartment tour and explain everything to you. but. It's just perfect and it's bigger than where I live now. My apartment now is beautiful and 
I love it so much but this new apartment is so much bigger and I have like a private roof deck and I have four decks off of the apartment so one of them is in the guest room one of them is in the master bedroom and then one is off the living room and then the kitchen so it has four different balcony decks private roof deck um, it's also cheaper than where I live now for more space and outdoor space so I was just like this is a no-brainer like I have to live there because my landlord here at this apartment that I live at now was gonna raise my rent like 5% or 3% they were gonna raise my rent if I renewed my lease and it would have ended up just like being ridiculously expensive and I was like I can just find a new place because I don't want to keep having to like pay more and pay more my my rent has already been raised twice living here so I'm moving to the new place also something that I'm so excited about is Emma's gonna be moving in once her lease is up here and she wants to move she's been talking about wanting to move to LA and now I feel like maybe New York like I don't know what is gonna happen with that but um her and I thought that it would be fun to live together here in Boston and have an apartment in Boston and then also get another apartment in a different city so we can just like share both of them and yeah so that is the life update what is going on with that but basically I'm moving I have to schedule my movers it was just like so busy for July 1st because everyone is moving it's kind of like a peak date and i'm going to the cape for the fourth so i am not going to be around and then i've been like traveling so much more for work and stuff like i was just in new york last weekend and i just feel like it's a little bit rushed so i'm going to wait till after the fourth and i also tried to schedule movers for july 1st and the moving company that i used to move here was all booked up like i couldn't even book it so i was like you know what i'm just gonna move like mid july so um exciting stuff obviously moving vlogs <sighs> will be coming and i'm gonna film an apartment tour before i leave this apartment that we're in right now so don't worry about that there will be an apartment tour i just feel like so much has happened in my life and so much has been like going on this past year i haven't talked about any of it online but um there's just been a lot of change in so many different aspects of my life and i just feel like i have been working on myself and really focusing on my mental health and just being exactly where i am and not worrying about the future and like stressing about it or worrying about the past and just kind of going with the flow and embracing the change and the difficult things that have come up and keeping myself super grounded and just like level-headed and like stress-free. So that is my talk. That's why, I don't know. I feel like I've just been going through so much this year and I have been focusing on me and I feel like my content has definitely, I like I haven't been putting as much focus on youtube as i have in the past just because i've been like going through so much but i finally feel like i'm at a place in my life where i just know a new chapter is opening up and i'm just so excited and yeah moral of the story is that i am moving and there's going to be so much more content coming and i just feel like so good about it and i'm going to get back into like posting a lot more on youtube because i really do miss posting like three times a week like i used to and there's also a few like projects that i am working on that you guys are going to see soon so i'm just really excited about it and i feel like I've gone through so much growth and change this past year, like me personally, internally, and I am just like really proud of where I am. And I just wanna say, if you're going through anything hard and it feels like your whole world is falling apart and everything is coming crashing down, just let it be. Because everything in your life is working out for your own, for your highest good and God, the universe, whatever you believe in would not give you more than you can handle. And I just feel like 
when you let things happen and you just kind of like breathe through it, everything ends up like working out better than expected. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I've been ranting for so long. I need to get ready and um, head out, but I'm super excited to move and I'm excited for the vlogs and all that stuff, so yeah. We're at Whole Foods. I'm trying to be better about vlogging more like in public when I do stuff and instead of just saying what I'm doing, so. We're going grocery shopping. I just got all these new bikinis in the mail, so I just thought I would do a little try on bikini haul. So yeah, <laughs> they're all from Frankie's. I'll link them down below. My favorite bikinis are Frankie's Bikinis and Heavy Manners. I just feel like they fit the best and they're just really good quality. And yeah, I still have like all of my bikinis like Frankie's and Heavy Manners from over the years that I've had them and they're still in such good condition. So I'll link all these down below in case you guys want to pick up any of them. But this is the first bikini that I got. It is blue and orange, like a little terry cloth material. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. <laughs> Next we have little lime green bikini. I love this color. I love the material too. It's like very, very soft and like almost silky. And if you couldn't tell, the style of bikini is my favorite from Frankie's. I just think it's so flattering on me, but also they have like so many different styles and like cuts in the bottoms and they have um, like different types of tops. So, if you like the colors of any of these bikinis, they have different styles you can get as well because I know like some people don't like wearing bottoms that have less coverage and stuff like that so anyway just wanted to let you guys know that then I got this little rainbow set this terry cloth material is it for me like it's so comfy and I just feel like it doesn't like move at all like even when I pull the strings up like higher on my waist they don't slip down or anything so I love it. This is the same as like the orange and blue one that I showed you guys in the beginning. And then we have a little green set. This is the same as the yellow. It's that like soft, silky, really nice material. Again, same style as you guys can see. <laughs> Good morning. Going to our workout right now. Hi guys, just go back from my workout. Just showered and I made my green juice this morning and I make this like every single morning. I do spinach, celery, cucumber, lemon, ginger, coconut water, and cilantro. Put it in my blender and then I just pour it in a glass. I actually prefer to put all of my, like all the, of the vegetables into my blender rather than a juicer just because I like I don't know. I've been really into it and I just feel like this way has a lot more fiber and honestly it's like an easier cleanup. So try this in the morning. You guys are going to be obsessed. Like it's just so fresh. Excuse you. It's so fresh and just like makes me feel so good. So yeah, starting my day off. With this, going to do some editing. I have like three videos to edit, so I'm going to get on that. But whatever you do, make this juice and let me know how you like it. Just made breakfast. I scrambled two eggs and I put them on these chickpea tortillas and did some avocado and some hot sauce. I'm currently editing this vlog that you guys are watching right now. I just got done editing my New York vlog, gonna upload my Cape vlog today. I also have my Chicago vlog that needs to go up. I have so many vlogs that I am planning. Oh my God, you know what I literally forgot to post? In. I forgot to post this vlog from Memorial Day when Drew came to Boston. <laughs> I literally forgot to post. Um, if you guys want to see this vlog, <laughs> let me know, even though Memorial Day was literally a month ago, 
Let me know if you guys want to see this video because it is like 20 minutes long. And if you care if it's up late or not, I literally don't know how I forgot to post this. Um, so yeah, comment down below, I guess. Hey y'all, you know, just another day in Boston. Um, I just left my nail appointment and I'm going home right now. I'm gonna eat, I need to eat quick. I haven't eaten yet today and I have to leave again because I am going to my laser appointment. I need to eat and I need to shower because I need to shave and um, go to laser. That's what I have today. I have like so many appointments. I try to like keep a lot of my appointments on the same day just so I can like bang them out and get them all done and I don't have like an appointment interrupting my day if I'm like working or editing or you know, doing stuff like that. So today's kind of like an appointment day. I just had a pedicure and I like desperately needed one so bad. It was, it was really, really bad. My, like po the polish on my toes was legit from like months ago and it was like chipping and it was nasty. And I was like, I can't wear heels because my toes look like this. So got it done. People just like don't know how to drive today either. But it's okay. It's a good day. It's really warm out. It's super nice. And I'm just, I've just been chilling. I got coffee with Emma this morning. We went to Greystone. We brought Milo and talked on the phone with my mom. I slept in a little bit. Like I just, I set an alarm and I woke up to my alarm, but I kept sleeping. And I just like let myself because my body like needs it. And I feel like I just have needed the rest and just to like rejuvenate myself. And I feel so good. And did my meditation. Sorry, I'm like literally, literally updating you guys with everything that I've done today. I, cause I didn't vlog, but I feel like most of the stuff I've done, you guys have already seen in vlogs anyway. So yeah, I'm super excited. I get the keys for my new apartment tomorrow and I'm gonna go over and film an empty apartment tour. And then I'm also gonna get an apartment tour from my current apartment filmed. So that can go up. but. Let me know actually what you guys would rather see. If you'd rather see an a, a apartment tour of my apartment right now before I move out or if you would rather just see like a new apartment tour for my new apartment because nothing's going to change. Like all the furniture that I bought for the apartment that I'm in right now is coming with me. So I feel like if I did an apartment tour of the new one, uh, you guys would just see like the same stuff. So leave a comment down below because I actually really want to know what you guys would prefer. So yeah, but I'm going to head home, do all the stuff that I got to do because I'm going to be in a little bit of a rush before laser and I will talk to you guys after. I'm wearing this really cute clip in my hair, which is why I took my vlog camera out before I did like this whole rant. I'm wearing this little um, flower clip from MEJ. It's so cute. It's like one of my favorite clips right now. And it just like holds my hair up so nicely, so. Hey guys, legit lightning out. I'm gonna end off this vlog cause I know that I was just like talking so much in it and just like updating you guys on life and chatting, which I feel like I need it. I feel like I haven't done that on my channel in a really long time. So I'm happy that I got to do it and catch up with you guys. And I finally feel so much better and I feel like these past few months have just been like so crazy and I don't know, I'm just like excited for the future to see what the future holds, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get dessert with Emma and some of our friends. Oh, that scared me, Milo barked and there's also lighting. Um, I'm gonna go so he doesn't think I'm staying because I put him in his crate, but I wanna show you guys my outfit <laughs> before I leave. Red by far bag, this top is from with Jean. I'm obsessed with it. Allie Grace jeans, they're like baggy, low rise, and then I'm wearing my ugh, dunk clothes. The blue to match the blue and the red, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go, but I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you so much.